What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and today I'm joined with by the Marsman crew to review Exo Primal, which is a multi-plat game that released last week, and we got to play it over the weekend. Had a lot of fun with it. Very interesting kind of gameplay. Very interesting kind of story altogether. And in this video, we're going to do our official review by giving the good, the bad, and our final verdicts, and telling you whether or not you should buy this now, later, or not at all. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna give a little brief background on Exo Primal if you've never played it, never heard of it before, but this is actually made by Capcom. They've been dropping games so much this year with Resident Evil Remake and obviously Street Fighter VI. They have been pumping out top level games and there has been kind of mixed reviews on Exo Primal, but this is an overall, just an online game, third person. You're fighting in mechs versus dinosaurs. If I was gonna call it anything, it's like, Dino NATO, if you're thinking of like Shark NATO, just think Dino about Dino Crisis, Dino, yeah, Dino Reborn. Crisis, uh, Reborn. Uh, I mean, overall, there's around six game modes to play, 10 exo suits, three you have to buy. Uh, and there's also cross play, cross, you know, I guess you could say cross play, but a little caveat there cross play is only actually going along with specific, I guess, engines. So that means only Xbox, Xbox Series X and S, and Windows can play together. Only PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 can play together, and Steam can only play by themselves, which is a little kind of redundant at that point. It's oh, not no, really cross-play. Cross <laughs> it's not really cross-play. It's like you can play with your own brand, I guess. That's like literally how it is. Um, but with all that, I kind of want to give our good, bad, and ugly. So let's start off with the good. And what I'm thinking about the good, I think the basic gameplay has it's not bad. I mean, I, I think, yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I gotta say, the kind of the aim aim sensitivity was all erratic. Um, but I, it's not a game that you need to be super accurate to be sniping people. Now, there is a sniper class in this, but overall, like, I feel like some of the different classes you'll see, like under assault, tank, or support, the tank classes, most of them are pretty wide ranging. You'll need to be super accurate with your weapons. You can kind of just start cleaning people up if you yeah, shoot in a general area. But I feel like the gameplay was pretty solid. They had some really cool functions with the different mechs. And I felt like you can have a lot of fun and we try i mean i definitely tried out all the different mechs i had a little bit of gameplay of all of them so that at least i can get a full picture about what are the different styles of play and i actually do like that concept i like the fact that you do need to work together this is not just a one-man show you have to actually kind of work in the different classes have to support each other in a way all these soul classes are made for that purpose of just getting massive amount of kills tanks are going to be taking a lot of the brunt of all the damage but they can pump out a lot of damage too and supports are obviously su super important because they heal everybody and give them damage boosts uh, a lot of times so i feel like they they all kind of work alongside each other and you need to be smart you like we've we played on teams that had like four like i think even us we had a team of like four tanks and there was a problem where it's like we were super slow when we needed to be faster but we still pulled off a win in the end but at the end it, it was just tough overall but that's why i like the gameplay it has some really cool mechanics it's fun it's quick it's not like it's dragging like i feel like if i'm making comparison anthem was a very dragging game had a very similar concept of mech mech suits outrageous gameplays and gunplay but i felt like exo primal did a better job with having their mechs be different enough where it's like it's fun in a short span of time rather it be like well, let's go investigate this area. And it just gets like repetitive and long. And it's just not as fun that way. And Anthem was one of those games that was super hyped. So, I mean, that's what I felt. I feel like the gameplay for this game was good. But Angelica, what do you feel like was your good here? Um, gameplay was smooth. I agree with you on that. I thought the gameplay was smooth and solid. Uh, the gunplay also felt pretty smooth. I also liked the different combinations, different abilities, right? So you'd be pressing, mashing different buttons to kind of get a solid uh, combination down. Um, similar to what we played with Diablo, right? Where you would kind of uh, bounce different combinations off um, given certain situations. I thought the exosuits were kind of cool, right? You get 10, uh, there's 10 exosuits and seven available right at when you play. Three of them you have to unlock at level 20, 30, and 40, or you can buy them. Um, you know, purchasing, I think it was like $14 or something like that. But, you know, that kind of stuff I think was cool. They had three PVE modes and uh, two v PVP and then one PVPVE, which is kind of like their story mode. So, you know, there is a solid balance between PVE and PVP. But the gun, I think the gameplay was pretty solid all around. And the exosuits had a nice, cool twist to it. So those are the good for me. And Hockey, what would you feel like was your good? Yeah, I don't want to copy you guys, but uh, you, you both 
<clears throat> mentioned uh, really good things, and it really was the gameplay and gunplay I thought were really solid, and the good amount of variety between the exosuits and uh, how Angelica just mentioned, the abilities that each suit has as well. So I thought those were pretty cool, and uh, that PvP P, uh, VE, I guess it was called, that game one I thought was pretty cool as well. Uh, that was the one where we were fighting the dinosaurs, and then at the end we then fight yeah. the other team as well, right? Dino Survival, yeah. Yeah, yeah Dino survival. survival. I thought that was a, a, that game, that survival game, I thought was pretty interesting as well. So pretty cool game in, in general. Yeah, and, and obviously there's like, there's always some good, but we always have to talk about the bad too, and I feel like when I look at the bad, the one that kicks me right in the face is the story is horrible. I think this is, it honestly made me laugh a lot of times at how bad the story was. I mean, granted, I, I'm not trying to ruin anything for you. I don't think I'm going to ruin it for you by just giving you a brief background, but the story kind of resolves, it's not necessarily resolves itself, but like you already know the story by just knowing the first scene. The AI takes over the entire area and now you're stuck in the AI's simulation and you're just constantly fighting dino battles to like test to see whether you're good enough to then break them, break the mold, the matrix, the, the whole break the matrix out of it. And the reason why I say this is dumb is that it's a whole time space and continuum concept where it's like you're 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 traveling between the present and the past, and you're constantly doing this. It's just like, well, why why not just have it in the present? Why not just have it in the present and be simple and concise? And why is this AI taking over? Why is this why is this AI so powerful that it can really spawn in dinosaurs in an area and no one can break in or out of it? What what the hell is going on here? They don't explain any of that. And the whole concept of the story is you guess what? You unlock story content by just playing multiplayer. There's no like there's no like actual story mode. It's just play multiplayer matches, you get enough XP, then you unlock a story cutscene to see the next part of the story. And apparently there's a lot of cutscenes there. Yeah, obviously there should be you no know, under trying to understand what the hell happens in the story, but you have to play multiplayer. It's like the only game I could see that was somewhat similar to this was Titanfall and Titanfall one was only multiplayer was your story, but they actually did a decent job of kind of showing like what's going on in that mission for you to understand the importance of what's happening. And they used to have like cut scenes on the top corner. That was one of my negatives. I felt about it. It was like, I'm fighting mad people in Titanfall, and then all of a sudden there's like a, a cutscene top right where important stuff's going on. And I'm like, I have to pay attention to what's happening in front of me because I literally am getting killed by Titans and I need to be able to do that stuff, but you can't. And that's similar to what this is. It's just like you constantly just have to play multiplayer. There's no like real importance behind what you're doing. It's just like, oh, go back into the simulation. You got to prove that you're good enough to be there. And like, that's so dumb. Just like, give me a story mission. You can do story missions with people like Destiny and still have story content like you could do it that way and it'd be perfectly fine that was my nigga i feel like it was just dumb the way they organized the story but hockey what do you feel like was your bad yeah for me it's real simple i think the game uh is gonna get old real quick it got pretty repetitive uh, again we were having fun because you know the mars man crew we like to keep it uh you know light and, and funny so we were having fun making uh you know some pretty good memories there but uh the game is definitely going to get old it's going to do it pretty quickly they can add maps they can add exosuits but uh you know they gotta find a, a new way to spice it up and, and add something that'll keep players with it yeah and uh Legilica, what do you think was your bad yeah and i don't know if you mentioned this at the beginning but this game we played it on game pass but this game is 59.99 and it feels like a free-to-play game um so it kind of hits all the free-to-play game modern gaming tunes which you get you know you unlock war chests which they call it which gives you skins they have kind of like a battle pass tier system which is the regular tier and then a premium tier which i'm sure you have to buy right so it unlocks different uh you know you, your path to unlock different things changes um, you can buy these kind of bundles that will unlock the suits ahead of time instead of, you know, grinding to unlock them at level 20, 30, 40. So to me, it's it hits all those free to play metrics. But the biggest problem, and Aki kind of mentioned it, this game gets old very fast. And I mentioned six different game modes, which is not bad at launch, but there's not a lot of variation in those game modes when you play them. You're doing the same thing in the goal, so-called gameplay loop gets pretty old pretty quickly yeah and and with all that being said we need to jump to our final verdicts and whether or not this should be by now later or not at all and i'll start with mine first i think when i overall look at this game it, it kind of hits that just like Langelico said it's that free-to-play game that 
is not a free to play game. It's like you look, you're paying full price for this if you're not getting it on Game Pass. And I feel like if I was a, a you know, if I was playing this on PlayStation, then I'd be really, really tight about it. I'd be like, I'm not, you know, $59.99 for this. Like if you have PC Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass, like you're getting this on Game Pass. But if you're not getting this on Game Pass, like, dude, I'm paying $59 for this and this is what I'm getting, right? That is ridiculous. Like that, that is a problem where you feel like you are just done with the story pretty right away because it's not really enticing to get you to keep coming back for more. And the game modes are not that diverse. There's no like differences between all of them. I feel like most of the time when we played, we were either hitting deliver the payload or kill the hordes. Like that was basically it. And the only interesting thing about it was that you were competing with another team that was trying to do it at the same time. I felt like I cared more about trying to beat the other team in time and how fast we did it versus like actually enjoying like the different types of dinosaurs we faced and you know the different land areas because i feel like the maps weren't bad it's just like it was just the same repetitiveness and there's no real like reason to to care and with that being said i feel like this is a six and a half for me i feel like 6.5 out of 10 is a below average game it can definitely be more i was based on like the mixed reviews i had right at the very beginning a lot of people were like oh this game is horrible I don't think it's a horrible game. I think the gameplay concepts are cool. The mech suits are pretty cool, diverse in how the abilities work and they work together. But you need to add some things to make it more fun. I feel like more enticing. And I just feel like you're you just this is just a bland game and it should be free to play. I think if it was free to play, you probably get more players to play it and enjoy it more. But you don't. Right. And that's the problem I see. And I would say buy this later. I feel like if we didn't have Game Pass, I wouldn't have bought it right now. I feel like it's not good enough to really enjoy this to the maximum by paying $59.99 now. You better off getting this at a discount. This this is like a $30 or $40 game that's being charged at full price and it's it shouldn't be charged at full price. So it should be free to play. But if you're gonna charge anything, it should be the same price as Minecraft Legend. Like that's that's literally what this should be. So buy later for me. But Legilica, what do you think of your final verdict and should you buy this now later or not at all? Yeah, I'm pretty close to you. I'm at a 6.8 out of 10. I think this is not a bad game, but it's also not a good game either. This is a average to below average game. Um, again, some fun gameplay concepts that we talked about. Um, the level design actually wasn't bad. Fighting dinosaurs is pretty fun. So all that stuff's good, but the gameplay loop gets so repetitive over and over and over again, and it's not worth the price of admission at $59.99. And for that, it gets hurt a little bit, in my opinion. Um, now I'm also at a buy later as well. This is not a it's not a Redfall. This is not a Golem game, but what this is is maybe in the seasons because this they are doing seasonality, which is another thing, which is a modern game free to play thing. If the seasons keep get it growing and they can add more stuff in here and create some more variability, it could be something to be enticing. But right now, as it speaks, this is a buy later. And hockey, what do you think, man? Are you uh, into Dino Nato Three, The Reckoning? Like definitely a cool game, cool concept, but I'm pretty much right where you guys are. I'm at a 6.3. Uh, I think the game will get better with time. Angela Kill kind of just had mentioned that there's going to be seasons. So again, I think the game is going to get better with time, but right now I'm at a buy later. If you have Xbox, you don't have to buy it now. You can try it now. If you want to download it, if you got some friends, hop on. I think it's definitely worth to try now if you have Game Pass. Definitely not worth those uh, 60 schmeckles uh, that you're going to have to shell out. So, um, you know, 6 1 or excuse me, 6 3, buy later, but um, it might get better. Yeah. And I think overall we had a fun experience, but there are a lot of red flags just to say not to buy it right away. I feel like it's a good enough game to play, just not a full price. But with that being said, thank you everyone for watching. What do you think about Exo Primal? Do you think that it's good? Do you think it's better? Do you think you should buy it now or later? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.